After years of making progress in the United States in regulating money and politics and having full transparency, and the most recent improvements were the McCain-Feingold Law in 2002, in which we were able to un uh, disclose all the money being used in politics in federal elections. We literally had a 100% transparency rate of where the money was coming from. But after years of progress towards having a fairly good system of regulating money and politics, we took two huge steps backwards in 2010 with the Supreme Court Citizens United decision. In that decision, the Supreme Court ruled that corporations are to be treated as people under the First Amendment and therefore can spend unlimited amounts of money in politics. Corporations have used uh, nonprofit groups to launder their money, so it's no longer detected as to where the money's coming from, and we're having a huge problem once again, not only with the amount of money flowing into our elections, but dark money. We are going to see the first $10 billion election in American history coming up in 2016, and as much as a third of that money will be dark money. Fortunately, the 2016 elections may change all that. Uh, the idea of unlimited money in politics and dark money in politics offends most Americans. And if Americans express that anger at the polls following the 2016 elections, we may once again return to reasonable limits on money in politics.